Hi everyone! In this video, we're taking a trip back to Paul Gregg's workshop to see his method of bending PVC pipe for making the tracks of his backyard roller coasters. I separated this into its own video because bending PVC is a skill that has applications far beyond making homemade roller coasters. You might be building the frame for a greenhouse or a covered trailer. There's lots of things that precise pipe bending could be useful for, and Paul's method is by far the best I've seen. So no more delay, let's get into the shop and learn how to bend PVC. So what we've got is uh, a one and a half inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe, which we make our roller coaster rails out of. I've capped one end and uh, I have a little copper funnel sort of a thing that we're gonna pour hot sand in the top and hopefully get most of it in the pipe. Once it's full of hot sand and up to 160, 170-ish, then I grab it and move it over, cap the top, grab it and move it over to one of these forms, the tooling on the wall that make different radius. And you can see one's done here. Lay it on there, put it in, and just let it cool down. So we're gonna start this, we're gonna start this sand heating up. I think this is enough sand. Yeah, this is plenty. The pans just make it heat up quicker. It's play sand, three bucks a bag. All right. Okay. Now the exciting part is when these are hot. <laughs> Carrying them back out. <laughs> yeah, I should get of gloves. So most methods of bending plastic pipe require heating it until it becomes soft. Paul uses hot sand for this purpose. Not only does it heat the pipe evenly from the inside out, it also prevents the pipe from collapsing or kinking as it's bent. We left this sand to heat in the oven at 400 degrees. Usually this would only take 45 minutes, but we got distracted, so here we are two hours later. Is the sand, do you want to get the sand all the way up to 400 degrees? Oh, I could check it, but it's been in there a good two hours. It's, uh, yeah. Usually I just put it in for 45 minutes or something. I'm sure it's 400 on the surface. And yes, you could end up pouring hot sand on yourself. I mean, it's 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 hot, but not there's not much you. there's not much mass there. No. So a pretty steep angle to let to make sure the sand gets down. When you get that, uh, the pipe all the way full, do you try to get it where it's kind of overflowing a little bit? So when you put You know, it doesn't down, have to go clear to the end because the end of the pipe, due to what, I, what we call boundary conditions, you're never going to curve the end of the pipe because the end of the pipe is free. Uh huh. Anything that has a free end is not going to curve unless you huh. tool it really well. So, so if you really wanted a really perfect curve, you would cut the ends off of the pipe afterwards. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, if you were gonna, if you had a big 180 degree turn and you were gonna put more than one piece of pipe in there, you really wanna cut the, the last few inches off the pipe because they're gonna be straight. So, it's almost full. 151. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, already quite a lot of softness in there. See it? I'll throw it on the floor and we'll wobble it about. <laughs> See that? Yeah, it's great. How, how long does it stay pliable like this? Oh, probably 10 or 15 minutes. There's a lot of mass in there. Oh, that's great. You can tell, you can tell you, that's 190, 174, I mean, you could bend this thing into a corkscrew just about. Well, close. It might not stay around. So now before it gets too hot, I want to move it over. Oh, it's just getting hotter right now because that 400 degree sand is... Yeah. And that's it. Do you, and you just leave it there. Leave it there. In about a half hour, I'll dump the sand, that warm sand, back into the pans. Two batches of sand make about 15 in a day depending on your heat up time. Yeah, perfect. We could make any kind of tube out of this. You know, we could, we could make a circle if we really wanted to. 
whether it would stay round or not. So we're, we'll put this here and we'll make a So we're going to make this is the inside rail and outside rail of a, a certain design. So that's it, a super easy way to bend PVC or any other plastic pipe for the projects that require it. If you want to learn more about building backyard roller coasters, check out Paul Gregg's YouTube channel and his books, which I've linked in the video description below. A lot of the conversations I had with Paul during my visit to Seattle were focused on education and how powerful a tool math and science can be for building things in the workshop. I've spent the last few years relearning math that I didn't pay attention to in school because now I understand what math is. It's a cheat code for building things. With the right math, you can know for sure that the thing you want to build is going to work before you build it. One of the main tools I've been using to relearn math is Brilliant.org, my sponsor for this video. Brilliant specializes in explaining math, physics, and logic through storytelling, code writing, and problem solving that actually keeps you entertained and interested while you learn. They use a hands-on approach with puzzles and interactive challenges that teach you various subjects while at the same time giving you a better understanding of the real world. Brilliant has over 60 interactive courses on their website and app, and I can honestly say from my own experience, their courses are fun. You can become great at math, science, and computer science all through Brilliant and have fun doing it. Use my link brilliant.org forward slash Nighthawk and you can get 20% off a premium membership if you're fast enough. I hope you find this video useful. I'd love to hear in the comments some project ideas that bending PVC might be useful for. I just realized you could maybe use it to make a trampoline or maybe the frame for a hammock. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.